Hi everyone and welcome to another long overdue video. Today we're going to revisit my uh, Compaq desktop PC from almost 15 years ago. In the first video I explained the specification and what the planned upgrades were going to be. First of all I cleaned out the case and the fans. The CPU temperature wasn't too much of a concern during testing so I haven't cleaned that fan and I haven't actually taken the cooler off to reapply the thermal, thermal paste which is always good practice but I might do that uh, at a later date and report back if there's any change with any benchmarks there's been no indication of overheating so it all looks good enough next I installed Windows 10 32-bit as, as a slightly lower overhead than the 64-bit version and also that CPU is only a single core so the less strain I put on it the better I installed the maximum amount of RAM that that motherboard and version of Windows will take which is 4 gig and even then Windows probably won't be able to make use of the full 4 gig now the RAM slots themselves are quite easily accessible once you get move all these cables away and I've got the same amount of RAM in each of the slots which again is good practice so there's one gig each and it's the same memory speed as well and I ran a utility, free utility called Memtest 86 Plus to test the RAM and they passed all the tests moving on to the uh, graphics card it's uh, a one gig EVGA GT730 now I probably could have put in something like a 750Ti um, but the, uh, the CPU will just bottleneck it so it wasn't really worth it and also I've kept behind the, uh, disc con the drive containing the XP installation and there are actually XP drivers for that graphics card so if I want to go back to XP to um, play an older game then that's, uh, that, that'll work fine uh, it's just a matter of removing the old graphics card and slotting that one in there. Also, the power supply is only 300 watts, so again, that uh, that card is uh, is is not too much of a problem. I didn't actually have to take the TV capture card out to fit that card. The card is only a single slot, so I put the TV capture card back in there just to keep the the outside slots covered up moving on to the drives I've got a solid state drive installed for Windows and a one terabyte uh, mechanical drive for all the programs on there and they were they were quite easy to fit just remove the old drives and cable them back up again and I tidied up the cables with a few few cable ties I probably could have made this bit bit this part a bit better but None of the cables are touching the CPU cooler, so that, so that should be all right. Right, so uh, next step is to start this up and uh, just run a few benchmarks and give you an overview of how this 15-year-old desktop PC performs using Windows 10 32-bit and uh, a few games. Now, starting at Windows, obviously, it's not going to be as fast as a more modern-day machine. But um, in general use, um, browsing through the folder structure and uh, copying files, there's no, no real slowdown at all. Um, like the start menu, perfectly usable. Got an older version of Office on here, Microsoft Word, Excel and Access. Um, and again in general use there's there's no absolutely no slowdown at all perfectly usable and the uh, the applications start up pretty quick now with regard to the internet I've got Firefox on here which I prefer but I'm sure there's probably more lightweight browsers you can use that will be a less strain on this um, I've got uBlock Origin, which is an AdBlock Plusser, so things are going to slow down a little bit, but I actually prefer prefer having an AdBlocker. 
Um, this news website is uh, image heavy, so it's going to start up a little bit slowly. But once you get in there, just rolling through, um, selecting a few links. Um, it's perfectly usable. Um, with YouTube, unfortunately, you are going to res be restricted to 480p quality. Um, on this size screen, that's not too much of an issue. Starting up is going to be quite a delay. Anyhow, it's just coming up now for the press conference. And just got to slightly to start with. Once it, once it gets going, you should be it should be okay. Um, 720p and 480p is well, out of the question, unfortunately. Joined by Dr. Jenny Harris, the Deputy Chief. Okay, so that's uh, Windows. Um, let's uh, look at um, benchmarking and then a few games to really see how this machine performs. Now running graphical benchmarks on this PC such as Heaven and Valley you're probably looking on average about 20 frames per second occasionally dip into 15 and occasionally um, moving into the 30s but it's what, ex it's what uh, is expected on uh, this age of machine. Now the first game I'm trying out is still used as a graphical benchmark even today for PC gaming that's the first crisis and this was released over 13 years ago but the engine was so advanced um, that even even um, some modern PCs can't run it on maximum uh, maximum graphic quality but at the moment with all the settings set to low we're probably getting 25 to 30 frames per second um, you probably noticed that the sound stutters a bit, which I still haven't managed to get to the bottom of. And uh, obviously when there's firefights, the frame rate does dip, but it does. the PC does a, a pretty decent job. Next up is uh, Doom 3. Now the PC at the time could actually play this game, admittedly on the lowest settings. But now we've bumped the settings up to high and we're getting easily 60 frames, 60 frames per second. This is actually a really good game once you get into it. Um, the, en the graphics engine still stands up even today. And the gameplay is, is really atmospheric once you get into it. Of course, the usual id's attention to detail is uh, is second to none here. Huh? No, no, please, you must let me get this communication out. They have to be. Anyway, this is worth playing if you haven't played it before. And there's also an expansion pack as well. You can't possibly so, uh, highly recommend this one. Next up is um, the first in the Fear series of games. I think there was Fear and what uh, Fear Two, and I think there's a couple of expansion packs and Fear Three, but I haven't really played them that much. But what I can tell, they again, it's quite a decent first-person shooter game. So running the uh, inbuilt benchmark, you can get some idea of how good this engine is. And uh, even today, the uh, it's another game where the uh, special effects still stand up, and this PC is more than capable of running it at uh, quite decent frame rates. At the moment, we're getting about 40 frames per second. Occasionally dipping down just below 30. 
So yeah, this game series is uh, is is worth a look. I haven't actually uh, played it that much. Next game up is uh, Far Cry. Um, this is uh, the first in the series, quite a big series actually. And you really, unfortunately, um, I couldn't use uh, a video capture program like OBS to uh, capture the footage because, again, it just slow the PC down too much. But with high settings, we get in on average 40 frames per second, but it might dip when there's some action going on. But it's, not, it's another impressive engine. Some really, really nice effects in this game. Slight graphic pop-up occasionally. I think this PC might run Far Cry 2, but uh, I haven't really tried it. And uh, obviously the games after that have just struggled too much. So with action, with some action going on, you do get occasional dips. What I will say with a lot of these games, there's um, some third-party mods that have been developed, and they're always worth checking out if you can. Having a break from the first person shooters, we're going to have a look at um, a FIFA game from, uh, this, this is actually FIFA 10, so it's about, it's about 10 years old, but uh, this PC will play it, uh, play it on uh, high settings, no problem at all, no slowdown, and I'm sure it'll uh, play some of the later FIFA FIFA games as well, but this is this is one that I had around. Yep, so no problems with that one. Now look at the first racing game. This is a classic called Need for Speed Most Wanted. There's a heck of a lot of games in this series. But I always seem to be coming back to this one because the uh, the graphics still stands up. Of course, the gameplay is excellent. I've actually played this for quite a while. But again, high settings, graphic settings, PC has no problem. I'm sure it could play some of the uh, Need for Speed games later in the series. But check out some of these early ones if you haven't played them. They're still uh, still good. Still good gameplay, I think. 